The proposed plastic bag ban in Cranston was shut down, shut down earlier this week by Mayor Alan Fung. It's now back in the city council's hands in an effort to overturn that veto. But while the spotlight has been on that battle raging, officials in Providence are working on a plan of their own to outlaw retail plastic bags. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima has the details that are new tonight. Several other cities and towns across Rhode Island have similar bans on plastic bags. Lawmakers behind the proposal say it will make Providence cleaner and greener. Adam Barrick says when he can, he passes on the plastic. My wife does our food shopping, but she brings um, uh, her own bags every uh, every week for food shopping. So it's something, it's a consideration in our household. He thinks it's a good idea to ban plastic bags in Providence. If it creates a little bit of an inconvenience for people, so be it. I mean, I think we got to think long term about our environment. The bill requires a second vote of approval by city council before it can become law. If it's passed, checkout bags at businesses would need to be paper, designed for reuse, or be made from 100% recycled plastic. It does create a burden. There's no doubt that we're going to have additional costs. Harry Adler estimates his hardware store hands out about 1,000 plastic bags a month. He says while eco friendly bags will likely cost more money, he supports the measure because he believes it will help the environment. You know, if it helps cut down on ecological waste and you know, at the end of the day, I'm in favor of it. If the bill becomes law, there would be a six month grace period for Providence businesses to prepare and use up the plastic bags they have in stock. This is our hundredth year in business, so we've had to do a lot of adapting to stick around that long and we'll adapt again. Despite vetoing similar legislation last year, a spokesperson tells me Mayor Jorge Alorza supports this ordinance. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.